Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? Hello, hello. Uh, good night. <laughs> good evening. How are you? Fine. You are fine. fine. What about your weekend? How was your weekend? Good, so, so, relaxing. Relaxing, uh, I think. It was relaxing. Did you go out? I just stayed at home. You stay home. Perfect. And the other ones? Mm -hmm. What about the other ones? What did you do? Let me see. Okay, so we have Manuel, we have Diana, we have Liliana, Jonathan, George, Edwin, Cindy, Carlos, Francisco, Katia, Mercedes. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Did you go? Mm, did you go to the beach? Did you go to the mountains? Did you do homework? Uh -huh. Did you study? What did you do? Did you play video games? Mm -hmm. Nothing. <gasps> My God. Let me see. Okay. Uh, okay, Liliana, thank you. And the other ones? Mercedes, what do you do? And um, in the weekend, it yes. was fun. And then I stayed at my house and, and got out and uh, got to the bar with my my puppy, yeah. Okay, <laughs> perfect. I went, okay, I went to the park. Okay, Very I went. good. Excellent. And you, Cindy, what did you do? What did you do during the weekend? Did you go out? Did you go to the movies? Did you go to Metro Centro? I don't know. Uh, I go to the church. I went to the church. Yes. Okay. Diga, I went to the church. I went to the church. Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. And today we are going to start with the following. Okay. So guys, today we are going to start with unit nine. So we are going to move to vocabulary. We have the grammar part and we are going to cover countable and uncountable. We also have a speaking time. And today we have a short quiz, which is um, about the simple present tense, and it has 10 questions. That will be at the end of the class, okay? So now, to begin with, guys, unit nine. What is the name of unit nine, guys? It is broccoli is good for you. That's the name of unit nine. So as you can see, we are going to talk about food, right? So let's see. Do you think that broccoli is good for us, guys? Do you like broccoli? No, I don't. No, you don't? No. I like yes. it. You yes. like yes, it? Okay. You do. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Some of you, yeah. Some of you, no. You don't like broccoli, but it's delicious. Okay, well, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's start with the warm up, okay? Guys, what we need to do is that we need to choose the name of each vegetable that we have right here, fruit, okay? So let's see, what is picture number one? What is picture number one? Potato. 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 A potato, perfect. What is picture number two? An onion. An onion. An onion. What about number three? Lettuce. Lettuce. Okay, pronunciation, lettuce. Lettuce. Okay, this one is like, like saying like this, I think. Le, this. 
Lettuce. 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 No lettuce, lettuce, pero es como un lettuce. Lettuce. Así, exactamente. Lettuce. All right? Like that. Lettuce. Yes? Lettuce. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So now, what about number four? Picture number four. Honey. Honey. Honey? honey? Okay, honey. honey. Yes, it is honey. Do you like honey? No, I don't yes. like it. You don't like honey? Yes, I like it. <laughs> yes, right. It's delicious. Oh, my God. Okay, well. Okay, what about number five? Sparkling water. water. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. And what is sparkling water, guys? What is Agua, it? Min Agua mineral. mineral. Agua mineral. Do you like a sparkling water? Yes. Yes. Mm, okay. No. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. But some of you maybe yes. What about number six, guys? What is number six? An egg. An egg. Yeah. An egg. An egg. Do you like eggs? Yes. 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 You do? Okay. Yes, yeah, some of you maybe know, right? Number seven. What is number seven? Bread. 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 Do you like bread? Yes. 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 Okay. So-so. Oh, uh, okay. And the last one is? An apple. An apple. An apple. Very good. Okay. So let me ask you. Which items are fruits and which are vegetables? Okay. Give me fruits. Which items are fruits? Um, an apple. An apple. Um, pineapple. Okay. Pineapple. <laughs> yes, I, I hear pineapple right there. Okay, pineapple. What else? Fruits. Fruits. Strawberry. Just the strawberry. Okay. All right. All right. So, which of these things did you Blueberry. buy last time? Blueberry. And so which of Yes, blueberry is delicious, right? Very delicious. And which of these things did you buy the last time you went shopping? Which of these things did you buy, guys? An egg. An egg. Mm, a lettuce. A lettuce. All right. Bread um, and potatoes. Bread and potatoes. Okay, now let me ask you. Do you make a list when you go shopping? Do you go shopping? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. And yeah. do you make a list? Do you make a list of the things that you are going to need? Yes. 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 And, okay, and why do you make a list? Why? On Sunday. On Sunday, okay. And why do you make a list? For why? not forget something. Okay, to not forget something. To not, okay. Yes, to not forget something. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Also to be careful with the money that you are going to spend, right? Que va a gastar. Money that you are going to spend. Spend, gastar. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, so now let's move. Let's continue, okay? Okay, so as you can see, unit number nine, broccoli is good for you. Yes? So we have right here and we have this. How do we call this? What is this? How do we call that, guys? What is that? Uh -huh. What is this? Pyramid alimenticia. Okay, and in English? Food. Food. Uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I yes. don't know how to pronounce. Yes, okay, this one is food pyramid. Yes. Food pyramid. Yes, okay, guys. So it says that we have fat, oil, and sugar. So grass, yes. Fat, oil, and sugar. Yes. So as you can see, we have cream. Do you like cream? Yes. Yes. I yes, you do. Okay. Do you like candies? No. No, you don't. Oh, my God. Do you like potato chips? 
Yes. yes. A lot. You do no. a lot. Okay, no, maybe, yes. Okay, do you use oil when you are cooking? Oil? Aceite? Oil? Yes. Yes, I yes. do. Yes. Or do I you do. use butter? Oil. 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 Okay. And which one is better, oil or butter? What do you think? Mm. <laughs> okay. It depends, right? It depends. It depends. Maybe. Okay. It depends. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, for good health, eat a lot of grains. Granos, yes, grains, vegetables, uh -huh. vegetables, vegetales, right, verduras, and fruits. Do you eat grains, vegetables, and fruits, guys? Mm. Or no? Mm, not all the time. Not all of the time, but at least during the day, do you eat grains and vegetables? Yes. Okay, very good. All right. So we also have other protein. Eat very little fat. Listen to this. Eat very little, poco, little, okay? Fat, oil, and sugar. Fat, grasas, oil, aceite, and sugar, azúcar, right? Very little for good health. Yes. So we also have here meat and other protein. Yes, we have fish. Do you like fish? No, I no, don't. No, I don't. Okay. Mm, but that is very important. Fish is very important. I don't like fish either. Okay, I don't like it. But you know, guys, fish is very important for your sight. That means para la vista. <gasps> Fish is very important. If you don't eat fish, then you need to drink um, vitamins, all right? Because if not, you are going to have this type of, um, I don't know how, how do we call this, but you are oh. going to <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Omega, tiene omega tres. Yes, and it is really important for your sight, para la vista, okay? So then we also have beans, chicken, nuts. What is the meaning of nuts? Mm. What are nuts? Nueces. Oh, very good. Nueces, okay? So nueces, frutos secos, the ones that sometimes you go on the bus, right? And they actually uh, get on the bus and they sell nuts. Hay personas que se suben a los buses a, a vender frutos secos, las semillas, nuts, okay? Es, es en general, entonces. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. sí. Nuts means frutos secos, okay. semillas secas, yeah? Lo que, semillas, semillas. So eggs and beef, yes? La carne. Then we also have dairy products, okay? And what is the meaning of dairy products? Uh -huh. Dairy. No? So um, those are lacteals, guys. Uh, dairy products are lacteals. Like for example, milk, cheese, yogurt, Right. Do you like milk? Yes, you do. Yes. yes. Okay. Yogurt, uh, so so, right? We also have fruits, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries. This one is not mango. Okay. In English, is mangoes. Yes. Mangoes. mangoes. Yes. Uh, singular. Mango, plural, mangoes. Yes, mangoes. Then we also have broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes. Do you like lettuce, potatoes, tomatoes, broccoli, carrots? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's so delicious. Carrots. 
All right, carrots. Yeah, those are delicious. Carrots are delicious. And we also have grains, okay? So grains, bread, cereal, crackers. What is the meaning of crackers? What are crackers? Panqueques. Galletas. 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 Yes. Very good. We also have, do you like rice? Rice. Arroz. Yes. Do you like it? Delicious. Do you like noodles? Noodles. What are noodles, guys? Fideos. Fideos. Como el espagueti, right? Noodles. Yes. And pasta. We also have pasta, okay? So we also have um, different type of food inside this uh, pyramid, right? So we have many other, but this is going to be just the example, okay? Just example of those type of products or this type of food, yes? Remember, we have fat, oil, sugar, meat, and other proteins, okay? Dairy products, fruit, vegetables, and grains, yes? Now let's move. I need to volunteer. One is going to be Adam and the other one is going to be Amanda. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand. One is Adam and the other one is going to be Amanda. Uh -huh. Mercedes, you are Adam and Alexandra, you are Amanda. Okay, go. With intonation, okay? With intonation, yes. Okay. Uh, what do you want for the picnic? How about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Mm -hmm. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Thank you, all right. So now pronunciation, guys. How do you pronounce this word, this one? Refrigerator. Okay, okay, let's pronounce it. Refrigerator. Re refrigerator. Okay, Mercedes. Refrigerator. Rator. Rator. <laughs> okay, again, okay, refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, I know that that word can be kind of difficult sometimes, okay? Um, this is just because we have it here, right, in this role play, but um, you can use this word to say refrigeradora, okay, para que no digamos esa palabra tan larga que nos cuesta, yo sé que es un poco difícil, pero tiene que practicarla, pero también puedo utilizar el sinónimo, el cual es fridge, yes, cuando usted quiere utilizar fridge, es lo mismo que refrigeradora en inglés, yes, es un sinónimo. Right, but we need to practice the one that we have right here, which is refrigerator, refrigerator. Yeah, practice it. Uh -huh. Practice the R. Yes, practice that R sound. Practice it. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to read it just for you to listen to the pronunciation. And it says, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Miren, nosotros cuando en español nosotros decimos, ¿y qué vas a comer? Mm, dos sandwiches me comí, right? Pero es two sandwiches. Yes, dos sandwiches. Usted como ya sabe inglés, ya no diga dos sandwiches. No, diga dos sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Yes, ok. So then, okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? 
No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Do you like potato salad? Mm, I never try it. You never try it? It's delicious. Potato salad is delicious. It's delicious. Okay. All right. Very good. Now let's start with the grammar part. Guys, in English, we have countable nouns and we also have uncountable nouns. What are uncountable nouns and what are countable nouns? Let's see. Somebody that reads this information. Who wants to read? Uh -huh. Who wants to participate? Okay, Cindy, help us. Countable nouns are nouns that we can count. Car, house, book, etc. Yes. We can say one car, two cards, three cards, etc. Single, singular and plural. Countable nouns have singular and plural forms. A car, cars. A house, houses. A book, books. An umbrella, umbrellas. Excellent. Thank you, Cindy. Okay. So, as Cindy said before, Countable nouns are nouns that we can count, yes? So que podemos contar. Car, house, book, etc. Yes? So we can say one car, two cars, three cars, four cars, five cars, a lot of cars, right? So we can count them. We can count them. And the countable nouns, guys, they have plural and singular, yes? As you can see right here, singular, plural. So a car, un carro. Cars, carros. A house, one. Houses, many. A book, books. An umbrella, umbrellas. Yes, so pay attention to this, okay? Countable nouns are the ones that we can count. Yes, son los que sí podemos contar. Hay algunos que no vamos a poder contar, ya vamos a verlos. Pero estos, yes, we can count. We can count car, houses, books, umbrellas. What else can we count? What else? Uh -huh. What else? Look at... Uh, where you are right now, what else can we count? Window. Windows. Cash. Which one? Chair. Chairs. Uh -huh. Sofas. Uh -huh. Pencils. Pencils. <laughs> Uh, people, yes, we can count people, yes. Uh -huh. Refrigerator. Uh, refrigerators, okay, yes. Cell phones. Okay. We can count uh, closets, right? We can count beds, we can count computers, we can count uh, pens, right? We can count cell phones. Yes, all of the things that we can count. Yes, all of those things. We can count shirts, right, pants. We can count a lot of things, yes? We can count our fingers, one, two, three, four, five, right? We can count uh, different things, guys. Now, we also have one of the rules that sometimes you have some doubts, right? Algunos de ustedes tienen una duda en este tema. When to use a and when to use an. Yes. So, a before singular count nouns that begin with consonant. 
H. Dice que la A la utilizamos para los nombres singulares, los que podemos contar, pero en singular, ¿ok? Y que comienzan con una consonante. Fíjese en el ejemplo. She is a photographer. Ella es una. Yes. Photographer. Fotógrafa. So, <coughs> a, because this is consonant. He. He is a teacher. Yes. Entonces, a, porque es T. It's a hat. Es un sombrero. Now, something that you need to remember, guys, is that in Spanish, en español nosotros no hablamos igual que en inglés. En español nosotros decimos, él es maestro. Él es maestro. El artículo, un maestro, lo omitimos. Pero en inglés no podemos omitirlo. No podemos decir, he is teacher. No. Porque si usted quiere decir, él es maestro, en inglés va a ser, él es un maestro. ¿Ok? Entonces, si usted omite el artículo, siempre va a estar incorrecto, como usted esté haciendo la oración. Cuando sea singular, siempre tiene que utilizar el a o el am para toda la vida. ¿Yes? So now, we also have an. And this one is before singular count nouns that begin with a vowel sound. Look at this. She is an artist. He is an engineer. It's an umbrella. Uh -huh. Now, entonces, si yo quiero decir, eso es un gato, ¿cómo lo digo? It's, um, it's a cat. It's a cat. Now, si yo quiero decir, ella es secretaria. She is a secretary. She is a secretary. Uh -huh. Si yo quiero decir entonces, él es músico. He is a musician. He is a musician. Okay. So don't forget the A. Siempre. Aunque en el español no lo usemos, en el inglés sí. Yes, we do. Okay. Do you have questions? No? Okay. Let's move. Okay. Remember, countable nouns. Countable. Contables. Countable nouns. We also have uncountable nouns. Yes? So, somebody that wants to read? No? Volunteer? To read all? No? Okay, let me choose. Um, Ediselda, can you please help us reading? Eh, lo leo todo. Yes, please. Eh, accountable nouns. Okay. Accountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count money, milk, rank, etc. Okay. We cannot say one money, two money, etc. Mm -hmm. Only singular. Yes. Uncountable nouns do not have a plural form. They only have a singular form. Mm -hmm. Monies, monies, milk, milks, rain, rains, etc. Not a uh, and. Yes. We cannot use a and plus uncountable nouns. A and means one and we cannot count. Uncountable nouns. Mm -hmm. I need money, not a money. We need to buy su sugar, not a sugar. Okay, thank you. Ediselda, repeat after me. Uncountable. Un uncountable. Uncountable. Count. Count. 
count. Count. Uncountable. Uncountable. Etc. 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 Excellent. Etc. Etc. Okay, thank you. So every single time, thank you, Edizelda. Siempre que usted vea etc o etc, siempre va a ser etc. Etc. In English, etc. Yes? Always, always, always. All right. So now, uncountable nouns are the ones that we cannot count. Son los incontables. We cannot count them. Yes? And for example, we cannot count money. No podemos contar el dinero. Teacher, pero yo si puedo contar el dinero, digo un dólar, dos dólares. Yes, puede contar los billetes. Pero todo el dinero no lo podemos contar. Yes, so we cannot count money. We cannot count milk, liquid. We cannot count rain. Podemos medirla. Yes, pero no podemos contarla. Now, we cannot say one money, two money. No podemos decir un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros, cuatro dineros, cinco dineros, seis dineros. Money, la palabra money no se puede contar porque la palabra es dinero. ¿Ok? Yes. Contamos las monedas, contamos los dólares, los billetes, pero no la palabra dinero. Yes. So, and it says, Uncountable nouns, they have only singular, yes? Uncountable nouns do not have a plural form. No tienen forma plural, los incontables. Por lo mismo que no podemos decir one money, two money, three money, four money, ¿verdad? Entonces solo tienen singular, yes? And we have money, we cannot say money, okay? This is incorrect. Milk, we cannot say milks. Rain, we cannot say rains. Yes? Okay, so, and it says, we cannot add a or an. Not a or an. Why? Porque no los podemos contar. Okay, solo agregamos a and an a las cosas contables. Countable nouns. Yes? And we have, this is a common mistake that sometimes people make, right? Sometimes people say, I need a money. No. ¿Por qué a money? Necesito un dinero. Nosotros en español decimos, me van a pagar un dinero que me deben, ¿verdad? Así decimos. Pero ese un dinero en inglés no existe. En español lo decimos, me van a pagar un dinerito que me deben. But in, in, in English, no. Me van a pagar dinero. ¿Sí? Me van a pagar el dinero que me debe. Yes? So, I need money. No, I need at money. We need to buy sugar. No, we need to buy a sugar. Yes? In Spanish, si decimos, me compras un azúcar. Pero en inglés no existe eso de una azúcar. Una bolsa de azúcar tal vez. En ocasiones en español nosotros omitimos ciertas cosas que en inglés son esenciales. Y por eso es que a veces nos confundimos ya en inglés. Porque el español tal vez no lo hablamos como deberíamos. Pero aquí es donde usted tiene que hacer el switch. Yes. And in English we need to talk correctly. Yes. Bien. All right, so now let's move. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas. Do you have any question about uncountable? If not, let's move. Now, in order for us to learn more about types of words that are uncountable, we have some examples, okay? Uh, some types of words that are typically uncountable are Food, drinks, and liquids. Los que son típicamente incontables, que no se pueden contar, son la comida, la bebida y los líquidos. ¿Por qué? Porque eso se puede pesar, eso se puede medir, pero no se puede contar. Podemos contar ya sea los galones, ya sean las bolsas, ¿okay? las latas, 
but not únicamente la palabra. Cheese, bread, pasta, coffee, milk, petrol, which is like gasoline, fuel, a synonym, etc. Yes. Materials. Iron, wood, metal, paper, plastic, etc. Okay, we cannot count materials. Los materiales no se pueden contar. Yes. Then we, we cannot count abstract ideas and feelings. Information, advice, strength. A strength, time, love, excitement, etc. Las ideas abstractas, cualquier tipo de idea no se puede contar, tampoco los sentimientos ni las emociones, no se cuentan. Okay. Illnesses, diabetes, Alzheimer, cancer, etc. We cannot count illnesses, no se pueden contar las enfermedades. Yes, languages, English, French, Spanish, etc. Los idiomas tampoco, porque no podemos decir dos ingleses, tres ingleses, contamos los módulos. Yes, but not el idioma. Okay, yes, contamos los niveles, pero no el idioma. Yes, okay. Do you have questions related to vocabulary? Do you have questions about vocabulary? Um, I have a question. Yes. What's the mean uh, bread, uh, bread, pan? Bread, pan, pan, yes, bread, uh -huh. pan, pan. The wood? Wood, madera, wood, like uh, this one? Yes. Yes, madera. And advice? 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 Yes, advice means consejo. Oh. Yes, advice means consejo. Excitement? 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 Yes, emocionante. Es una emoción. Oh, excitement. Ay, sí, sí, sí. Yes. Thank you. All right, very good. Do you have any other question? Any other doubt? No? Okay. For me. Okay. Very good. Now let's move to the class activity. Okay. So guys, right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to decide if the following words are countable and uncountable. Okay. So do you think that rice is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 We are going to add a star to the uncountable. Burger, countable, uncountable. Countable. 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 Okay, we are going to add a heart. So, potato, countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Banana? Countable. Yeah, I made mean, a mistake. Give me one second. Yes, countable, a heart. Okay, banana, countable. Salad? Uncountable. Um, uncountable. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see. Una ensalada, dos ensaladas, tres ensaladas, one salad, two salads. Countable. Countable. Okay. Pasta. Uncountable. 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 Milk. Uncountable. Uncountable. Sugar. Uncountable. Water. Uncontable. 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 Tomato. Uncontable. Uncontable. Avocado. Uncontable. Celery. Um, mm, what's the meaning of celery? Uncontable. Uncontable. Okay, what is the meaning of celery? Uh, cereal. No, 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 no. Celery? Mm. Apio, apio. Oh. Ah, countable. Countable? 
Yes. Uncountable. Uncountable. Yes, decimos un apio, dos apios, tres apios. <laughs> No, right? Uncountable. 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 Yes, okay. Ketchup. Uncountable. 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 Podemos contar los botes. Botes. The botes. Okay, so cheese. Uncountable. Uncountable. Bread. Uncountable. Uncountable. Onion. Uncountable meat. Uncountable. Uncountable yogurt. Uncountable. Uncountable. Butter. Uncountable. Uncountable. Butter. Uncountable. Podemos contar las barras, pero en sí, the butter. Eh, la palabra butter, no, ok. Orange juice. Uncountable. Uncountable. Ok, very good. Now, guys, from this part, I want to emphasize the following, ok. Quiero enfatizar esta palabra, la cual es esa, mire, avocado. Avocado. Si usted escucha que dicen avocado, no está correcto, ok. Tiene que ser avocado. ¿Y eso avocado. qué significa, teacher? Aguacate. Do you like avocado? Yes. Yes. Very yes. delicious, right? Yes. Do you have questions no. about vocabulary? Do you have questions about vocabulary? No. Uh, butter? What's oh, the mean? Butter? Mantequilla. 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 Y margarina, ¿cómo se dice? Um, it, it could be a synonym, but there is a word for margarina. Um, let me get it for you. Any other question? Um, margarina, you can say it margarine. Margarine. Yes, but butter is mantequilla. Mantequilla. Yes. Thank you. All right. Any other question? Any other doubt that you may have, guys? No? Okay. Teacher, ¿por, yeah. ¿por qué la palabra, eh, bueno, eh, aguacate cambia tanto ya en inglés? Por, oh. O sea, son totalmente diferentes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I'm not sure. No sé exactamente por qué, pero mm, me imagino que... Alguien que lo inventó, pues avocado, right? But yes, en realidad no hay un porqué del avocado, pero sí cambia bastante aguacate. Yes. Yes. But it's avocado, okay? No, no avocado, avocado, avocado. Very good. Now we are going to work in team. I will give you three to four minutes. Okay, guys. What we're going to do is the following. I need to create a tutti frutti recipe. How do you say receta? Recipe. recipe. So tell me how many fruits you will add. For example, yes, you need to add two apples, two uh, bananas, uh, three watermelons. Yes, I need to add a lot of fruits, but with the number, with the number. And you need to make it plural. Tiene que hacerlo plural. Quiero ver esas frutas en plural. Yes? So you need to add 10 fruits. 10 tipos de frutas en plural. Yes? En plural. Okay. Quiero que le escriban las 10 frutas en plural. Me las manden al chat. ¿Qué le va a agregar a su tutti fruit? Yes? So I will give you around four minutes and then we are going to come back and we are going to take the exam. Okay? Le voy a dar cuatro minutos para que trabajen esto y luego tomar el exam. Okay? So, let's move.
Cindy? Yes. ¿Le llegó la invitación? Ahorita me está llegando. Ok. Ya voy ahorita. Ok. A ver. Bananas. ¿Cuántas? How many? Two. Two bananas. bananas. Two mangoes. Okay. Pero sería con ese, ¿verdad? Con ese, ¿verdad? Con Apple sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Dos vamos mm -hmm. a poner, ¿verdad? Sí, tu apple. Manzanas. Uh, cinco fresas. Sería fine. ¿Cómo se dice fresa? Strawberry. Um, very fine. Very good. Bueno. Um, ah, y se le agrega ese también. Yo creo que a strawberry se le agrega es strawberries. Very es. Así sería como nos estoy enviando el chat. Ah, vaya. Very es. Ah, Dos mango. Ajá. Two mango. Two mango. Oh, bueno, cambiamos de, de número, creo, porque llevamos dos manzanas, cinco fresas. Oh. Eh, Podemos poner diez blueberries. Diez blueberries. Tembro. Uh -huh. Y blueberries es blue. Berry, solo que en vez de Y eh, sería IS. Uh -huh. um, y mango, no se le pone. Sí, vean. Bueno. Ah, no, ah, no. Mm, two oranges. Yes. Orange. Sí. Tres. Uh -huh. Solo se le uh -huh. agrega S o S. Yes. S. Mangos. Mangos. Y S. Mangos. Se le agrega I S. I S. Yes. Uh -huh. You finish? Yes, I finish. Um Yes. Okay, send your your list to the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Let me see. Um, Se la digo. <laughs> No, send it to the WhatsApp group. Ah, okay. Uh, teacher, I you know, estoy en el, was in the group of WhatsApp. Mercedes, why? Um, es porque <laughs> eh, me enviaron el, el enlace, pero en el teléfono que me enviaron al número me falla mucho. Entonces, mm. por eso tengo otro, entonces ya no me puede como agregar. <gasps> <laughs> okay, let me see Mercedes Isabel. Let me let me see something Mercedes. Quiero ver cómo va en su plataforma. Y ya la terminé porque sí. Sí, ya la termino. 
Ok. Ok. okay. Dígamelos. What okay. are you going to add to your tutti frutti? Um, number one, ten grapes, eh, three melons, two bananas, one, no, uh, watermelon, sorry, my baby, uh, uh, a papaya, a kiwi. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. A kiwi? Eh, two apples, three birds. Four strawberries, two uh, mangoes. Ming, mangoes. Mangoes. Excellent. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Yes. Okay, so let me ask. Um, Alexandra, what will you add to your tutti frutti? Uh -huh. Alexandra, Edwin. Sorry, tenía a mute. <laughs> okay, okay. And we add two watermelons, two bananas, two mangoes, three strawberries, two melons, four grapes, three apples, two oranges, three beers, and two pineapples. Perfect, okay. Um, I'm seeing one, uh, the last team, the one that ends in 8015, el número que termina en 8015. Bananas, no, bananas, okay? Bananas in English. Um, guys, observation. La pronunciación de mango, okay? Es mangoes, men, 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 mangoes. Men, men, men. <laughs> yes, okay? All right, guys, let's move to the quiz, ok, vamos a tomar el examen que es del presente simple a ver si se recuerda aquí está el link ya se lo mandé aquí en el chat y el passcode, la contraseña es grammar vaya guys, eh, tómenlo tenemos alrededor de unos 5 a 7 minutos para tomarlo, tómenlo con calma fíjese bien en la respuesta y me dice cuando ya lo haya terminado, ahora eh, Voy a pasar asistencia en, 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 en ese momento, ¿ok? Alexandra Giselle. Present. Thank you. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada. Carlos Israel Estrada. Ahorita creo que tiene problemas con el micrófono, pero ya le dije. Ah, okay. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you. Um, Carlos Vidal Gómez Carlos Vidal no Cindy Stephanie Ramírez present teacher thank you Damaris Milagro Damaris Milagro Hernández Daniela Lisbeth Martínez Cruz Daniela Lisbeth Diana Beatriz Reyes Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda. Ediselda. Present. Thank you. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Fabiola Yamilez Díaz Alas. Present. Thank you. Um, Ingrid Astrid Asunción. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you. Jorge Mauricio Gutiérrez. Jorge Mauricio. Present. Thank you. José Alejandro Flores. Ah, yes. Thank you. Present. Present. Yeah. Thank you. Eh, Katia Mayerly. Present. Thank you. Liliana del Tránsito. Liliana del Tránsito. Mira, espérate. 
Manuel what Alexander. Manuel Alexander. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Guevara. Present. Thank you. María Vilma Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you. Mercedes Isabel Acevedo. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Present. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. Jenny. Present. Thank you. Bye, guys. Let me know once you are done. Me dice cuando ya haya terminado. Thank you. All right, I see Alexandra, I see Carlos Francisco, Elizabeth Pineda, let me see Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. um, Mercedes, okay. Thank you. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I got Carlos Israel Estrada. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finish. Thank you. Was it difficult or easy? Easy. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so. So, so. Okay. Mm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Terceras personas. Aquí veo que hemos fallado en las terceras personas algunas. Okay. Well, um, I can see that we need to improve on the third person. Okay. En la tercera persona tenemos que mejorar. Puedo ver que hemos salido un poquito eh, bajos en las terceras personas. Entonces, el día de mañana vamos a continuar con la unidad y también vamos a hacer un repaso del presente simple terceras personas, ¿sí? Porque veo que hemos salido un poquito bajos en esa área. Do you have any question right now before we go? Do you have questions before we go? No? No questions? Okay. All right, so then guys, right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much for connecting today and I hope you have a good night, okay? See you tomorrow, yes? Thank you for connecting. Thank you, Thank Thank you. good night. Bye, okay. good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. night guys, good night, bye-bye. Good, good night. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jose.